Well, this is it. You've come to the end of the course. I'm very proud of you for all the hard work that you've done so far. There's a lot to do. So I did want to take a couple minutes here to close the course, and I want to review some of the key concepts and topics that we covered in the class. So first, let's talk about the benefits of regular exercise and the impact that it has on your health. Now, this is something I really hope that you remember for a lifetime because it's really important. So exercising regularly can improve your health in a lot of ways, and some of the main ways we talked about, the ones I want you to remember, are that it can reduce your risk for diseases and ailments such as cancer, stroke, obesity, heart disease, uh, things like that. Uh, it can also improve your mood, reduce your risk for depression, and it can help you sleep better. And of course, it can also help you strengthen your bones and your muscles. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, we could talk about this all night, but uh, we're going to move on to the next section. So the five components of fitness, I want you to remember as well, and these are important for overall health and wellness. So you have your cardiovascular endurance, which you can think of as your ability to run or you know, bike or walk for extended periods of time without getting tired. Okay? Uh, you also have your muscular strength and endurance, which involves your muscles uh, building strength to be able to exert a large force. Uh, weightlifting is a good example of both of these. Flexibility is your body's ability to move your joints in a full range of motion. So I want you to think about yoga and stretching. And lastly, body composition is the ratio of bone, fat, muscle, and fluid it, that makes up your entire body weight. Okay, and just remember a healthy body has more muscle and bone than fat. So your five components of fitness, you have cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. Now safety is also important to remember during exercise, it's paramount. You should always think about safety whenever you're choosing an activity. So just remember preparation, get your checkups, uh, make sure you have what you need, do your warm-up before you get started. Hydrate, so make sure you're drinking water before, during, and after your activity. Make sure you have the right gear. So for example, if you're going skiing, you got to have your boots, your skis, your hats, your gloves, helmet, mittens, everything. So uh, make sure that you have what you need. If you don't know what you need, make sure that you contact your physical education teacher, your coach, use the internet, you go to your local sporting goods store, plenty of places for you to find out what you need. And lastly, make sure that you allow time for rest and recovery. Okay, obviously if you're not injured, you still want to give your body a day or two a week to recover from all the exercise you're doing. Uh, and if you are injured, rest is one of the most important components of recovery. And uh, just remember, if you do get hurt, make sure you let somebody know, whether it's your coach, your teacher, your mom, parents, guardians, whoever. Okay. Now, don't forget that the other things that we learned about, you know, on how to um, implement a proper workout plan. So make sure that you're exercising at your target heart rate zone. Okay. You want to be in this for 20 to 30 minutes so you can get your maximum health and fitness benefits. Now, if you forget how to calculate that, you can always go back and refer to the section on how to calculate your target heart rate zone. Remember to utilize the FIT principle, frequency, intensity, time, and type. Okay, frequency is how often you exercise, intensity is how hard you exercise, type is the kind of exercise you do, and time is how long you exercise. Okay, so your FIT principle, okay, use that to vary your workouts and improve your fitness levels. And you can also mix in high intensity interval training to uh, further your fitness improvement. So uh, this would involve short bouts of high intensity exercise followed by a recovery period. So maybe you sprint for 30 seconds and then you walk for a minute and you do that, you know, six or seven times as your workout. Okay, now you do have one more task before we end the course and that is to continue regularly exercising. Okay, you gotta try to get 60 minutes of physical activity a day and then you might want to exercise 30 minutes maybe four or five times a week. Okay, uh, so if you're really up for another challenge Share your knowledge with other people. Encourage them to be physically active on a regular basis. Basis. Get your family involved. Uh, you can do activities together. I know we touched on motivation for a little bit in the last module. Um, so you know, participate with your family. It can be motivating and it can be fun for you to help get them to improve their fitness. And you can almost be like, kind of like a little bit of a trainer. Okay. Um, so yeah, share your knowledge. Advocate for health and physical activity. Okay, get out there and share your knowledge. Okay. So congratulations on completing the course, and I hope you've taken away a few things that you can apply to your life to help you remain physically active for a lifetime.